Hi guys, happy Thursday. I'm here giving you your learning video for Thursday, October 29th. It is almost Halloween. I hope you're getting excited. Okay, so this week we've been studying Bat Loves the Night, learning about bats. Um, you're going to pick up your literacy packet. We're almost done with it here. It says literacy packet week eight. And you're going to turn to page 16. 16. Okay, readers infer to help them understand information from the text. So, bat is at home in the darkness as a fish is as at home at, in the darkness as a fish is in the water. What do you think that means? Well, what they're saying is that fish live in the water, right? That's their home. That's everything that they need to, to they need to be in the water. They live off a little bit of oxygen, but they need to be in the water to survive. That's where they get their food. That's where they sleep. That's where they eat. Bats have to be in the dark. They're comfortable in the dark. They don't see very well in the light. They do all their eating at night. That's how they live. So why do you think the author is making that connection? Why is he saying bat is at home in the darkness as a fish is in the water? He's trying to help you understand um, how nat naturally the bat survives in the nighttime, how it's evolved to use the night as to its advantage for survival. Okay, so you're going to write, draw a picture of the bat in the nighttime and talk about why the bat survives better at night than during the day. Okay, then what you're going to do is turn to page 17 and label the pictures below. Make the words plural. Okay, so write your name here. Um, so these are book. This, this is book. These are books. So add an S. This is an apple. These are apples. So when you make something plural, you're making it more than one, and, and you have to write the word for the singular version of the word, but as the plural. So books, um, glasses, boxes, buses, balls, just like that. Okay, when you're done with that, turn to page 18. And 18 and 19, you're going to cut out these words or these pictures and you're going to sort the pictures based on whether they start with ch or end with ch okay so this is a peach it ends with ch so it's going to be labeled under this picture so cut these all out turn to the blank page at the back put the beginning and the ending sounds at the top and then sort the pictures below that accordingly if you have questions let me know okay when you're done with that, you're going to open up your math literacy packet. You're going to turn to page seven. Okay, number bond dash. So just set a timer for 90 seconds. Do as many as you can. Ready, set, go. And then you're turning to page eight when you're done with that. And you are just solving all of the equations. And then you're going to use this key to color the boats according to the answer. So if the answer is seven, it'll be red. If the answer is eight, it'll be blue. If the answer is nine, it's orange. Ten, it's yellow. Okay. And when you're done with that, you're going to turn to page nine. Do the same thing. Color the boats using the code. These are much bigger numbers. Try these. They might be too big for you. If they are, that's okay. It's just a challenge problem. And then your Friday work for tomorrow is added challenge. It's optional for you. So these two pages, pages 10, 11, and 12, those are all optional pages for you, for those of you who need extra work. Okay. And that is all for this week.